How are you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji. Welcome to another episode of Tear Talk. Guys, look at that title. You better be able to say no. You better be able to say no if you're going to survive a career in corrections. Guys, right now, every night, I write a quote, something that's in my head. I put it down in Microsoft Word, and by next year, I will have 365 quotes. And therefore, we will have a daily reader of what I feel to be some of some really good tips uh, that can help survive a career in corrections. Today's thought for me was just say no. This is what I wrote. And uh, then I want to get to Russ's thoughts on the importance of being able to say no in this profession. But real quick, the ability to say no and mean it is an essential tool to surviving a career in corrections. If you can't tell an inmate no... If no is a word that you are uncomfortable with, then you are not meant to work in this profession at any level or at any capacity. Saying no is staff's immediate fail-safe, universal precaution. When a manipulative inmate makes an attempt to take the staff member down the wrong path, as mentioned by my training instructor some years back, a no can always be changed to a yes but never the other way around. These are truly wise words to live by. It has been through my experience that the word no will save your career and immediately close any doors that will lead staff down the road of corruption. I mean, what's going to be cool about this, Russ, is every day I write a quote, eventually it's going to be like what they call a daily reader, and people can carry it with them and just kind of have these quotes. But this... This is something I feel that's very important. I feel that for people that are in this profession that cannot say no, you got to go. I don't mean for the rhyming, but it's true. Russ, what's your thoughts on people with, that have the inability to say no in this profession? Well, let me just first start by saying this particular episode is going to be loved by none other than Jack Mosley over there on Keepers of Chaos. Because he has a whole set of memes just dedicated to the word no. And he often talks about the word no. And that's absolutely correct. You know, uh, the whole idea about getting you to say yes, getting you to say maybe, getting you to hesitate, getting you to just, you know, inch along a little bit at a time through desensitization. And maybe they just want you to give you a little yes. And then the next time they ask you to cross that line just a little bit more or just bump up against it. You know what? It's just a fallacy. They're trying to lead you down the path to where you can't say no anymore. So, you know what? Just out of hand, yes, you could always say no and then change it later, or you could modify it, you know, in whichever way you need it. But you need to really get that strength behind you to start with where you are firm. And by firm, I mean no. That's it. And, you know, you know, Russ. I agree with you. The no, when you say no, you have to believe in the no that you're giving. It's not a no with this external justification, a weak justification. It's not a no because Sergeant Rust is working today and Sergeant Rust doesn't like when you do that. No, it's a no because you said it's a no. Guys, yeah, this 10... Oh, go ahead, Russ. I was going to say, yeah, don't don't justify your no and don't rationalize it away. The no that you give has to be a no from you, not a no from your sergeant, not a no from policy. Don't say, well, you know what? Our policy doesn't allow us to do that. Make it so that you are the one telling them no. And that's important because you are the voice of authority. Your voice carries on everything that's contained therein in policy everything that's contained in procedure and everything that your sergeant wants done. You don't need to, you don't need to justify that by quoting from it or saying I would accept because that makes you look weak. And let me tell you, there's no room for looking weak in corrections. Uh, you know, you have to project strength, you have to project confidence and you have to, you know, carry the water of everyone on the same page all the time so that we present this united front where we are consistent in what we do. And guys, this advice right now is simple corrections 101. This is the advice that you cannot fail at. 
because this is the advice that as simple as it may seem, it has severe consequences. Like Russ said, a, a, a ripple effect to the point where if I can't say no, the problem is where are these yeses taking me? You know, because no stops the game. Automatically, no stops the game and, and, and lets the inmate know I, I, I ain't going down no path that you're trying to get me to go down. And having said that, guys, I, I got to say the reason why this topic is so important is because when we did a list of traits for what we expect our correctional officers to have and the comments on Facebook came from those that work in the profession, most likely those that are walking the beat. It came up multiple times. They got to be able to say no. They got to be able to say no. It was just something that they just kept on repeating. And that to me meant, wow, this has value. The, this is something that the front line sees as a concern on the very immediate level. Because I'm going to say this, that piece of advice, you got to be able to say no. That's the gatekeeper. That's the gatekeeper. Would you agree with that, Russ? Yeah, you know, that's the that's the finality there. Um, a lot of times what you have those these inmates, they'll try and lead up to that. They'll say before they actually ask the question, they'll say, hey, you know, uh, Officer Smith usually lets us do such and such. Is that OK? And um, so they're not really asking your permission. They're telling you what their history of permission is with someone else. I'll get back to Jack Mosley again in this case, because he's always pointing that out that, you know, what did these guys say? And he's got this great meme out there with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio on it. And he's saying, you're the only CO that tells us that, or you're the only CO that makes us do that. Um, you know, with him, with the thing, you know, the glass of champagne in his hand and stuff. And that's because they're trying to break down your authority by telling you that other people's authority counts more than yours. No, it's your own judgment, your own authority that counts for the most. And you have no idea really what's going on when they tell you that bullshit. Don't accept it at face value at all. I got to say something, guys. If an inmate ever comes up to me, just imagine like, well, Officer Smith said we could do it yesterday. Well, that's funny because Officer Smith was fired. You know, <laughs> I mean... You know, it's a game that they play, guys. But in the end, guys, all jokes aside, if you cannot say no and you really do have an inability to say no, leave. I mean, it's, it's that it's zero tolerance here. If you cannot say no, you will not survive in this profession because they will see that as a weakness and they will pounce all over you. Hey, Russ, anything you want to say in closing? Just a quick video. Yeah, and, um, you know, not just uh, so much about the saying no, but, um, you know, just think about um, how you're reacting to that. When they're asking you something, especially something that's clearly out of bounds or you just don't know the answer yet, they're waiting on you to waffle and hem and haw and just see what kind of confidence you have, to see what kind of uh, finality you give it. Don't sit there and give a bunch of time and think about it. You know what? Give the answer. And the easiest answer at that moment in time is no. Now, you can always change it if you find out the policy does allow it or that you should do this or if some other factors uh, need to be taken into account. But you know what? Showing that initiative and showing that you don't need long to make a decision, it will keep them off of your case all the time. Firm, fair, no, immediately. Yeah, I mean... Right from expert right there, right, Russ? You got that. I mean, and Russ, you know, obviously this is something that was it was quick. We're gonna do a more um we're gonna do a, a better discussion next week. Uh it's gonna be touching on different bunch of different topics, but we just wanted to get something out real quick because it is important. Uh guys, if, if you can't say no, it's time to go. As and that should be a shirt, actually, for all the correctional officers. If you can't say no, it's time to go. For all correctional staff, if you can't say no. It's time to go. Uh, as always, guys, the show. Wait, real quick. Was that a good idea, Russ? That's a good shirt. That's a good shirt. You know, you should see the you should see the little meme that uh, Mosley has on with Oscar the Grouch and a big fat no across yeah. it. I, I think I think we got something here, guys. If you haven't, the show tear talks to you, brave men and women at work and correction. So please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. Bell's gonna notify you every time I post a video. Stay safe.